Well... So, hi guys! Uh, this is Kitty Rain, back with another Living Skyrim 4 Let's Play with Rosalie. Um, something weird is happening in my game, I'm not sure what. Um, if I sound a little far away today, um, it's because I had to move my setup from my living room into my bedroom. Um, I apparently pinched a nerve in my neck um, while I was sleeping Thursday night. Um, woke up Friday morning, could barely turn my neck to the right. Um, I'm still having trouble. I went to the doctor and they were like, uh, not really much you can do. Put ice on it. Um, try to stretch it out as much as you can. Take some ibuprofen. You're just gonna have to deal. Like, great. Okay. That, that's wonderful. Um... But so I had to move my entire setup into my bedroom um, so that I could uh, ice my neck comfortably and still be able to record because I couldn't do it while I was sitting in my while I was sitting in my chair. Um, like there was no way for me to do it comfortably and still be able to record for long periods of time. Um, so I've basically set up Saturdays as my uh, record days. So what I'm going to do, it, what I'm going to start doing is um, I'm going to record um, my two weekend Living Skyrim 4 Let's Plays, uh, my... Uh, Lost Legacy Wednesday Let's Play and my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play. Um, and now I've cut the time of my videos down to like an hour and a half to two, two hours um, so they don't take as long to uh, process. Um, and So the first Living Skyrim video that I'm that I record on Saturday is going to be the Saturday video. And my videos are I'm going to set up my videos to release uh, probably about 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So okay. I think we're good. Now, when we last left off, we were doing this. Now, I did do a little bit of research. Um, there it is. And apparently... And there it is. Yeah, so I was doing that all wrong. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that is apparently how you're supposed to do it. Um, so you... So you put on the headpiece. When you put the headpiece on, it gives you this power. Um, you slot the peg into the little slot that's revealed. And you hit it with the hammer a few times. Um... So that's actually not as, um, I ain't gonna lie, um, I was going about that the entirely wrong way. Now, to be fair, they did not instruct you very well on how to do it. Um... And now today is going to be a little jam-packed for me. Um, I'm going to be recording an additional uh, 
Dragon Age Inquisition video um, to make up for the video that I missed yesterday. Um, I I'm not gonna... I had a horrible day at work. Uh, we were incredibly short-handed. Uh, it was a very stressful day. And on top of that, I had the thing going on with my neck, and I didn't... I had to go to the doctor after work. Um, so I get off of work at 5 o'clock. I had to go to the doctor w and go to urgent care to try to find out what the heck was going on. Because I couldn't turn my head. Um, I'm glad not again. Something. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. If this snow gets any thicker, we won't be able to see three feet ahead. Okay, bye. Um... Okay. There it is. Absolutely not. I refuse. I refuse. No way. Uh, hang on a second. That sounds really quiet. Um... Like, I can barely hear that. What? Oh, of course they didn't tell you about me. I am the analyst, the intelligence that runs all data collection in Sota Sil. Or I was, now relegated to a bunch of pegs and forced to be hit with a hammer whenever a bunch of exiles want something. I knew it was a hammer! Exactly. It's indignifying, it is. If you know them, tell them there's no chance I won't do it. I need you to collect data for me. What can I give you to convince you? Do you think I'm so low as to accept a bribe? Well, you are absolutely correct. I once had a collection of data modules that sparkled like the false sun of the city. I may not be able to get such things back, but if you brought me something similar, a diamond, perhaps I would reconsider. <laughs> Seriously? You want a diamond? I don't even think I have a diamond. No, don't. Um, I might have one at home. Uh, and by at home, I mean at the Astronomer's Loft. Alright. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm going to be doing all of my recordings on Saturdays now, um, and then over the course of the weekend, I'll be pre-uploading, um, all my videos will drop at 6 p.m. Central Time, um, and... I'm hoping that doing it this way will prevent 
missed videos in the future because I have more time on Saturdays and I can do stuff between recordings. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. And now, um, a lot, uh, actually, probably all of today's videos that I record will probably be closer to the hour and a half mark than the two hour mark. Um, mostly because of my neck, uh, my, my neck, it, even icing it is absolutely killing me. Um. But I don't, I don't want to miss uploading. I, I don't want to miss recording and uploading because I have a lot of fun doing this. I'm, um, and I'm doing this for fun. Um, like this is not replacing my job or anything. I'm literally just doing this for fun. Um, and it, it also helps because I kind of, um, so, so many people don't know, um, those, those of my friends that have come across my videos know, um, but I, I have ADHD, um, and... I have, you know, a few other problems, and for my job, I am required to talk on the phone all day. I call people and schedule stuff. Um, and like, I, lo I love my job. But I am very bad at talking. Um, I tend to come across as a little bit monotone. Um, and I, I generally have uh, issues. I apparently don't have a diamond. Well, crap. Okay. At least I don't have a diamond there. I don't have a diamond. Well, crud. Yeah, I really wish I could just pluck it off of that. That would be nice. Um. But yeah, so I... You know, I have issues talking, I have uh, elocution issues, um, I say um a lot, and um, let me know if you see anything you like. It, it's been suggested to me a few different times by different people that. You know, maybe try recording YouTube videos or try streaming um, to basically train myself out of saying um a lot, uh, repeating myself. Give a holler if you have any questions. An extended number of times. Uh, yeah, everything's for sale. Some may call this it. It junk. doesn't. Me, it I doesn't always work. Treasure. Um. And oh, that's a plate. I thought that was a coin. Um. Do come back. And there are some things that I won't all won't be able to.
stop doing. Uh, just because... of the nature of having having ADHD, being a high-functioning autistic. Uh, I mean, there's... <sighs> there are things that I won't be able to train myself out of. Um, but... Since do starting doing these videos, I have noticed that I get a lot more comments at work saying, you know, especially from people that I talk to over the phone, I get a lot of thanks now that I'm, you know, very friendly, comments that I, it'll crush rock, what? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. And I'm trying to find... I'm trying to figure out where the heck I can buy a diamond. Hmm. Maybe Windhelm? Uh. So, I mean, like... Doing the YouTube... The videos... You know, I started doing it... Partially as a way to train myself to not be so monotone in the way I speak. Um, because especially when I'm talking on the phone, because I've heard recordings of myself talking on the phone, um, I, I do. I sound very, very monotone. and Or I did. Um... And it was so funny because, like, I I've had people tell me, you know, now that I sound very different on the phone. I sound friendly, I sound welcoming, and a lot of that, I, I attribute a lot of that to me doing these videos. Because nobody wants to listen to somebody um, talk in monotone um, for an hour and a half, upwards to four hours. Um... So, you know, when I started the YouTube videos, you know, I was like, you know, I really need to moderate my tone um, more instead of talking how I normally talk on the phone. And I, I so, and I love Skyrim. I love playing fantasy role-playing games. Um, I play Dungeons & Dragons. I DM Dungeons & Dragons. So, you know, being able to um, Spare a coin for a poor old woman. Watch yourself, Griffin. Being able to uh, record videos of games that I absolutely love. Wow, look at that robe. Are you a wizard? I am. I'm jumping around all over the place. Not literally, but... Let's see what Sadri has. I probably won't be able to get anything here. Sadri. Ah. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Okay, what do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Nope. Okay. Do come again. No diamonds at Sadri's. I probably should have expected that. He probably wouldn't be selling diamonds. Um. Hmm. 
I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. I ask only for a little charity. Hey. <laughs> Yes, sir. Not now. Uh, da, da, da. Try you. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. An amethyst. Everyone says Jorl and Grey make the finest weapons and armor. Nobody has diamonds, Whether seriously? Armor you need uh. or a new Come see me. Thank you. sure I don't have a diamond on me and I don't so I need a diamond where can I get a diamond Give me a second, guys. Watch yourself, Breton. Shut up. it this way. Player. Add item. One, two, six, three, B, four, seven. Not G. B, B, four, seven, one. I got a diamond. There we go. I am not. I, I'm like you know what. I'm not hunting and hunting down a diamond. No. I've seen shooting stars, not rainbows. Didn't realize there were rainbows in the game. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? Got curved swords. Well, at least it's not snowing again. All right. Here's a diamond for you. 
Then let it be known I am an intelligence of my word. I will collect your data with that diamond. A paltry module for a paltry task. No. Sorry. Um, so from what I understand, um, this quest line um, it is actually fairly long, so we'll probably do it in sections uh, similar to how I was attempting to do um, Helgen. Or the Helgen Reborn. There we go. Alright. Hey! Me and hiccups. Hey! Okay. Uh... Nope, I'm gonna have to go this way, uh, go around this way. do much for that one. But that's okay. That oh, that's my eek. I'm like, who the heck is that? It's my eek. Alright. Back of Rashvine Manor. Ooh. 
That was very close. Foxes. And now we get to return to Numenor. Right. Came time to take off the ice. It's a little bit better. I've installed all three pegs, so stop yelling at me. Perhaps you have. But I will not know if you did it correctly until I receive notification from the intelligence itself. Numenar, you slave-driving fool. If you needed someone to tell you that Thalmor wants to know good, you didn't need to contact me. Next time you want the obvious relayed to you, go talk to a child. Wait, the Thalmor are messing with the world mechanisms? That's not surprising. Maybe not all of them. I'm not one for bigotry, but some yellow skin up on Whitehorn Pass is certainly looking into it, it seems. Bunch of bananas can't leave well enough alone, can they? They're raising Lorcan and now going after the throne of the world. I suppose it was obvious that the Thalmor were trying to interfere with our work, but I still needed to hear it from the analyst. What's a banana? Hyandonian fruit. It's long, yellow, and smells like the Thalmor. At any rate, I will need to meditate on this information. Feel free to look around until then. I'm sure you have some tasks to consider worthwhile. All right. Well, Oh. 
Um, well, we completed that. Uh, worm's tooth, anyone? <laughs> All right. Um, actually. Try that real fast, see if it's fixed itself. Because I'm not really going to be able to continue Helgen Reborn until I... Be honest, you don't really miss Legacy of the Dragonborn, do you? Uh, do. Oh, uh, nope. He is still missing. That was weird. Where the heck did that come from? And why was it there? Alright. So, still can't complete that quest. Let's get rid of some of these. Miscellaneous quests that we've got. So first we'll handle the miscellaneous quests, some of them, um, and I think we're going to start going through the backlog of quests that we've got, um, I can't really do much about the Helgen Reborn quests. Better than anywhere in Skyrim, cold forests and the broken mountains. I've always felt familiar. So oh, that's the Vilmir Inn. Uh. Ah, good to see you again. There we go. I'm quite a climb. Anyway, much appreciated. Here. Take this for your troubles.
哦。Trying to work out this pinched nerve. Oh my gosh. This. Yes, I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Grey Prince? Uh, Angeline Can sent me to ask about her daughter. Skill? Generally posting information is need to know only. I think Angeline needs to know. I, I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. The daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun Legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Uh. Arms and arms, forged by a master craftsman. Okay. Why didn't you tell her? The divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Yes? Like, seriously. Why didn't you tell her that her daughter's dead? I think this is only the second, maybe third time I've ever actually done this miscellaneous quest. Like, seriously, I don't get that. Why not tell the lady that her daughter is dead? That's part of your job. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Morard. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? <clears throat> your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. You look like an adventurous one. I bet we're kindred spirits, you and I. All right, there we go. of the dragonborn and who right uh a cradle crush rock somewhere there it is
All right. Dang, Mike, you're like everywhere. So, Cradle Crush Rock. No bear. All right. Cradle Crush Rock. Okay, so there's supposed to be a Shrine of Talos somewhere around here, or somewhere near Cradle Crush Rock. Trying not to disturb. Oh. Found it. Okay. What am I investigating? I never understood why people pray to this man, the one they call Dragon of the North. When they kneel before this altar, what they pray for is servitude. Huh? A dragon has no sympathy for mortals. Its very nature is to dominate. As a dragon myself, I don't disagree. And yet here you are, submitting to another, one that isn't even alive. Who are you? Why do you despise- As you will. Oh no.
Yay! Now, where'd the woman go? I wasn't done talking, talking to her. What is it? What brings you here? I was headed west to Cradle Crush when I came across this shrine. Then I saw you. My previous companion didn't make it past the river. Why are you passing through giant camps? The camps serve as bait. Dragons have big appetites, and mammoths are a heavy meal. <laughs> it's ironic, really. A dragon's strength comes from his compulsion to dominate, his desire to kill. Yet it's that very hunger that makes them weak. You seem to know much about dragons, when they've been extinct for some, some time. Extinct to you, but I have dealt with them all my life. Every night I close my eyes, I see fire. If this dragon descends on Cradle Crush, I'd be willing to help you slay it. Normally, I'd laugh at such a suggestion, but for some reason I'm inclined to believe you. Interesting. Alright, mm. if you're that confident, then let's head on over to Cradle Crush Rock, and you can prove your bravado is warranted. The giant camp is just east of the shrine. Yes, I know. I can smell the burnt skeever from here. Oh, hey, look! A dragon! I do that. Hey, there we go. Alright, I'm good. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the book. Okay, so... Giants are a strange folk. Definitely more intelligent than they might seem. 
There have been attempts to translate their language, but no success yet. Hi. Here we go. Okay. Now what? No, you handle yourself well. I could use someone like you by my side. Sorry, not interested. Your loss, Hunter. But it doesn't matter. I have business with innkeepers I must attend to. If you seek my aid, that's where our paths will cross. Beyond that, you'll find me in the shadow of every dragon in this godforsaken land. All you have to He was listening to their screams. Gloves of healing touch. Ooh. Boots of fortify magicka rate. Circlet of destruction. Necklace of magicka. Ring of destruction. Hollowed glass dagger. Elder gleam master note. And nice. So Be with our neighbors to the north at Broken Limb Camp, then Candle Crush Rock. Once you have received their blessing and aid, ensure the purity of Mara's Eye Pond. Next, implore our friends at Steam Crag Camp to honor their word and not harass any nearby travelers. From there, ensure no evil is seeking refuge in I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher that pronunciation cave. Um, lastly, visit our friends at Golden Rock and give them our warm tidings. May kind guide you. I hope this letter finds you well for Skyrim, Morrowind, and the Grace, Great House Lalu all need of your strength. A grave threat from my homeland of Morrowind has migrated to Skyrim, and though I nip at its heels, I fear that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her peoples, meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood as soon as you can. Um, okay, so, this is another quest that I've never, uh, another mod that I've never done, um, and so people have been, so they're Different people pronounce that house name differently. Um, like, some of the people that I know in the gaming community pronounce it Lalu. Okay, sure, fine. Um, I actually prefer the Halu pronunciation. Um, Like the L being silent and it being pronounced Halu instead of Lalu. Um, that's just my preference. Okay. So. Let's actually go to Riverwood. 
I'm kind of all over the map this episode. Um, I wasn't... Like, I didn't have a, cl a clear plan on what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the pegs done and over with since I knew how to do that. And then I was just like, I'll just wing it from there. The gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, the fellow who wrote the cookbook. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. So I think my next few episodes will probably be... Can I help you? I believe you sent for me. So I did, Dragonborn. Hmm. Amazing. You possess so much power. And no one could tell by looking at you. Back to business. As neighbors, Skyrim and Morrowind share more than a border. Sorry. Our fates are intertwined. We must look out for one another. As such, when a famous criminal from Morrowind was spotted in Skyrim, I was dispatched by House Hlalu to find him. However, he is too deadly for me to face alone. I need a hero's help. If it is a matter of justice, then I will gladly help. Excellent. You are as noble as they say. Nonetheless, I would feel guilty without rewarding such valor. Five hundred septims awaits you, if you succeed. I tracked the criminal to a village southwest of here called Little Vivek. But after that, the trail went cold. However, you may have better luck. Do you have any other information about the criminal? Not only is he a fearsome combatant, but he is silver-tongued. If he begs for his life, do not believe a word he says. What will you do in the meantime? I will continue my investigation elsewhere. I have another lead I'd like to explore. I'll be sure to contact you if it bears fruit. I'd better get started. Wait, before you go, take this ring. The criminal is known to wield enchanted blades, and this may protect you from them. Happy hunting, Dragonborn. And many thanks. You are doing both Morrowind and Skyrim a great service. <laughs> You're that visitor been poking around. Not talking to you.
mist. You won't know what's in there. Just bite you. What mist? Uh. Seriously? Why? Oh, really? Why did they attack me? Okay, there's mist. Bonnie and company of I need to wait until daytime. Big clamshell. There we go. Oh. Oh, hi. Let it be a lesson to others. Neat. Looking to hire a boat? Where are you headed? 
Oh, never mind. All right. I guess we're swimming. There we go. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Or not. What can I do for you? Could you tell me about the village? I'm not the best guy to ask, but I can tell you what I know. Why is this place called Little, Little Vivek? Little Vivek. Because Belvedere's an idiot. Next question. What services does the village offer? Services, huh? <laughs> well, Solis runs that trade house of hers like a general, and Falron can help you use a bow. That's about it, though. Who else lives in the village? Besides my brother and myself, there's Balron and Solis. They basically run the place. And little Albert's running around somewhere. Then there's Belvedere, and, well, like my brother says, the only thing Belvedere is good for is his wife. Okay. I'm Valina Rakwasi. You've probably already met my husband, Belvedere. He so loves greeting all of our visitors. Has anyone passed through the village lately? Oh, of course. We get visitors every now and then. You should ask my husband if you're looking for someone. He just adores talking to visitors. Okay. So, I wonder where I can find her husband. All wrong. Is there something you need, traveler? Have any visitors passed through the village lately? Yes, though few of note. Who Could are the ones of note? Trouble? A curious question. More curious from a stranger. Rough Vasi Canton? As I'm sure you know, little Vivek's namesake consisted of floating structures called cantons connected by bridges. Thusly, it is owing to call our island's cantons in their honor. It's just so wonderfully poetic, is it not? Has anyone passed through the village lately? Many times travelers have placed our holes. Are you searching for anyone in particular? Yes, someone powerful. Hmm. Well, 
There was one gentleman who passed through. He wore armor made in Morrowind and carried a pair of beautiful blades. Naturally, I took his armor as a sign and offered him the position of Chief Ordinator of Little Vivic and my personal aide. But alas, he declined. That thug Balran must have offended him. He spent entirely too much time talking with that guest. Zora only knows why. Okay, so Balron talk to the guest. Something you need, traveler. Yes, though few of note. A curious question. More curious from a stranger. Can you tell me about the village? I can. Why is this place called Little Vivec? Because we are a village of Denver on the water, and some found it clever to name it after another village of Denver on the water. Do you find it clever? I do not. Who else lives in the village? Lady Solis Andrewville and Albert live in Solis Trade House, the twins shall home. Belvina Rakvasi lives across from the twins. Belvedere is also there, I suppose. I'd like to discuss something else. As you wish. Do you need help with anything? Need? No. Desire, perhaps, if you think yourself a warrior. A group of bandits has been plaguing the woods nearby for weeks. Sneaking for weakness. I made sure they found only arrows, yet still they linger. I cannot leave the village and hunt them if they are watching, but you could in my place. Consider it done. Good. You have my thanks. I'll mark their last known location on your map. The leader wears an orcish helm. Bring it to me as proof. I will know if it is his. Alright guys, so that is where I'm going to end this episode. Um, you know, honest, obviously it's a little bit shorter than normal. Um, my neck is killing me and I, I have a whole bunch of stuff to get done today. Uh, not including four more recordings. Um, so that's where I'm going to end things and... I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, bye, guys.